Check this out. Author James Allen said that men are anxious to improve their circumstances, but are unwilling to improve themselves, right? Therefore, they remain bond. I want you to think about that, right? So many people want results out of life. So many people want to be making the income that they have ever dreamed about. So many people want to be living the life that they've always dreamed about, right? Driving the cars they've always dreamed about, having the businesses that they always dreamed about, right? But the problem is, is that again, men are so anxious to improve their circumstances, but they're unwilling to improve themselves. So how could you ever, you know, expect to be able to, you know, uh, improve a certain circumstance in your life if you're not willing to improve your own life, right? I heard something that say if you want to make, uh, if you want to change your life, you got to first change your life. It's just that simple. And so today what I'm going to show you guys is what we call the rule of five, all right? The rule of five. It's a way for you to be able to do five things every single day, five critical things that's going to help you get to the dreams, chase those goals, achieve those goals, right? And so the five things every single day. If you don't do one of these five things, guys, you're shooting yourself in the foot with a pistol. All right. So guys, what you want to do is make sure that you are taking notes on the rule of five, right? So the rule of five can be anything. You can have the rule of five of if you want to write books, if you, you can have the rule of five, if you want to be a better dad, you can have the rule of five, if you want to be a better husband, right? Rule of five, if you want to be uh, better at, at, at whatever it is, right? But today we're going to talk about the rule of five of leadership, leadership, Everything rises and falls on leadership. Your family rises and falls on leadership. Your business rises and falls on leadership. Your finances rises and falls on leadership, right? And so in order for you to get to that next level, you got to become the ultimate leader that can attract what it is that you've been asking for, right? God did say, ask and receive, seek and find, knock and it shall be open. But he didn't say that you can't put the work in. You got to put the actions forward, right? You got to act on the actions, right? You got to act on those things. So guys, the rule of five is very simple. I want you guys to think about a tree, right? Right behind me in the backyard, there's plenty of trees, right? So many different trees. And if I were to go outside and I were to, you know, want to chop down one of these trees, well, nine times out of 10, I'd use an ax, right? I would use an ax. So that would be my tool. I wouldn't go out and try to knock down a tree with, with, a, with a tree branch, right? I wouldn't try to go and knock it down with a baseball bat, right? But no, I'm gonna get the proper tools, right? In life, you need the proper tools in order for you to be able to knock down that tree that's standing in your way, knock down that tree to, to get to the next level, right? And so in this conversation, we're talking about the tree, right? The ultimate tree is our goals, right? If we want our goals to become achieved, right? We got to go out here and knock down that tree. We got to chop at it five times every single day. So if it's, it's, it's known that if you go outside and I take it and I take an ax and I chop at a tree five times a day, I give it three, four, five swings every day. No more, no less, right? Eventually with time, that tree is going to fall. That tree's gonna fall with time. But the thing is, the problem is people are so impatient. They're not well, they're not willing to put in that work. They're not willing to wait for that time. People want immediate gratification. You gotta understand that if your goals are big, if your goals is as big as these trees behind me, right? It's gonna take some work to knock it out, right? It's gonna take some work to knock down that tree. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and break this thing down for you guys when it comes to rule of five in leadership, right? So how do I become a better leader? Well, the first thing you got to do is you got to lift your lid of leadership. You got to lift the lid on your leadership. See, guys, so many people are level five leaders, level four leaders, level three leaders, right? And they want to be level 10 leaders, level nine leaders, right? But the problem is you haven't given yourself enough time, enough experiences, right? So, so, so check this out. If you are a level five leader, you can't expect to be able to have a level six organization. You have a level seven business, a level 10 business, right? No, you didn't put in enough work yet. You didn't get enough experiences yet for you to be able to lift your lid that high. So if you're a level five leader, then guess what? Your lid is going to cap at four. 
So you can only have a four, a level four uh, uh, um, business, right? You can only have a level three, right? Because level fives can only attract level four, level three, level two, and level one, right? And, and the same thing happens. If I'm a level 10 leader, now I can attract level nine. I can attract le level eight people into my business, right? And when you get a better quality of people in your network, a better quality of business partners, people in your social network, right? Then guess what? Everything starts to change in your life. Okay, everything starts to change in your life. It's known as the law of magnetism. The law of magnetism. John Maxwell put it in his book, The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. He said that the law of magnetism states that, look, if, if, if whatever you are is who you will attract, right? It's a magnet. So if, 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 if you are a terrible leader, nine times out of 10, that's why you're attracting other terrible leaders. If you're an amazing leader, right? If you're an amazing motivator, then you're gonna attract those types of people into your life because that's who they wanna be around, right? You only hang out with who it is that you can closely relate to, right? And so that's the law of the lid. So if you want to raise your leadership before you even focus on these five things, you got to have it set in stone in your life. You got to have it set in stone in your mind that, look, first thing, the reason why I'm even doing these five things is to raise my leadership lid, okay? And so, so number one, for the rule of five, number one goes like this. You got to be willing to lead yourself. You cannot lead anybody if you first cannot lead yourself. See, so many people are like, well, what, what do I need to do to be able to lead my organization? What do I need to do to be able to inspire people to do better, to make better decisions, to take their business more serious, right? But the first thing you got to do is you got to lead yourself and take your business more, first serious, right? Because remember, you got to lead by example. All leaders lead by example, right? If, like, if, if you want certain qualities out of people, you have to what? You have to develop those qualities. You have to be a quality person in order for you to be able to attract other quality people because the law of magnetism says so. These are laws that govern the earth the same way that if I go over and I jump over this balcony right now, boom, gravity's gonna take me to the floor. It'll never take me up, right? That's a law, so it's the same way. The law of magnetism. So before you can lead, anyone else you must first lead yourself step number two rule number two is, is is you must add value to people every single day as a leader you want to raise your leadership lid you gotta add value to people that's your second swing at the tree on a day-to-day -day basis if you got you got to ask yourself yesterday did i add any value to anybody right if, if your answer is no then guess what you're lacking on the leadership lid. You're lacking on the rule of five for your advancement in your leadership, right? So these are things that you're gonna have to work on, right? So so when you focus on other people's goals, right, more than yours, then you'll get everything you want, right? Zig Ziglar said it best. He said, if you, if, if you help people get everything that they want, in return, they'll help you get everything that you want. So if you take the focus off of you, you get that selfish attitude off of yourself, Boom, now you have the ability to be able to lead other people. Because why? Because you're focused on helping others. That is it. Service to many leads to greatness. When you're in the service industry, we're in a service-driven economy. So service to many leads to greatness, right? So that's step number two, right? And, 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 and in order, there's three different things that you have to ask yourself on a day-to-day -day basis when it comes to valuing people, right? Number one is, uh, 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 you must value people, <laughs> for sure. You must value people, right? Number two is you must know and relate to what you value. So, so, so you have to know and relate to what it is that they value. So you gotta ask them questions. What do they value? What do they care about, right? What gets them moving? What gets them motivated? Well, you gotta discover that, right? Step number three, you gotta make yourself more valuable, right? Self, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you got to be a part of self-growth, right? You got to listen to the personal development. You got to read the books. You got to go to the events. You got to do these things. Why? Why do you got to do this? Because if you want other people in your business to do what it is that, that, that you do, then guess what? You got to do what it is that you want other people in your business to do, right? You're the leader. You got to lead by example. 
So always, constantly adding value. That's why I make these videos on a day-to-day -day basis. It's to add value. I guarantee you, maybe not everybody, but I am adding value to someone's life. Someone is seeing this video right now and they're being impacted by my voice. They're being impacted by the knowledge that I've been able to gain over this past year, right? And just imagine, I'm just getting started. So more value is gonna be coming out as we start to learn more things, right? So step one, you gotta lead yourself. Step two, you gotta add value to people. Step three, you gotta study leadership every day. This morning I woke up, I, 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 I listened to leadership, I read a leadership book, right? I I, journ I, I, I took some notes, right? I, I, I wrote down quotes, I wrote down different stuff that's gonna help me remember and study even further past today, right? So you got to, you got to study leadership, right? Reading, resources, events, right? Filing information, right? You got to study leadership. It's the same way. If LeBron James didn't study the game of basketball, he wouldn't be one of the top players in the world. If Steph Curry didn't study how to make the perfect three-point shot, he wouldn't be the best three-point shooter in the league, right? It, everything comes from studying, right? You got to study leadership at least one hour a day, right? One hour a day, every day, for, for the next 10 years of your life, right? Are you willing to give in order for you to receive, right? Are you willing to give up things today that you weren't willing to do so you can have the lifestyle and the things for tomorrow that others will never have, right? Step four is you gotta practice leadership. You gotta practice it. Not only can you study, but, but guys, you can study all day. Faith without works is dead. So if you don't put that work in, if you don't put that grind in, right? If you don't practice, right, guess what? Practice gives you confidence. So if you're not practicing, you'll never be confident in doing anything that it is that you want to do, right? <laughs> I would never be confident in speaking in front of the camera if I didn't practice. You see how that works? Practice makes perfect. So you got to be willing to practice. It's called the 10,000 hour rule. You got to be willing to put in 10,000 hours 10,000 hours in order for you to become a master of the skill. Are you willing to put in those 10,000 hours, right? You in the NFL, are you willing to go out there and, 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 and catch, you know, 10,000 balls, right? Or are you willing to shoot 10,000 jump shots if you're in the NBA or you're in college basketball, right? What is it that you're willing to do? You got to put in the 10,000 hours. It's a rule, right? And then step number five, which is probably the most important one, is you got to intentionally grow. You, every day, you have to be willing to intentionally grow every single day, right? So you got to be in a growth environment, right? You got to put yourself around people that are better than you. That's what I consider a growth environment is. It's being a part of an environment of people that's better than you. So who are you associated with, right? Are you associated with four or five losers? Well, maybe that's why you're losing. Are you associated with four or five winners? Well, that's why you're a winner, right? That's why you're winning in life is because of your circle, the people you're around, right? So so you got to continually be challenged, right? You, you got to folk, your focus got to be forward every single day, right? You got to be focused on growth, not focused on what happened yesterday, focused on the future, what's to come, right? What's to come, right? Uh, uh, you got to understand that failure is not your enemy, right? You got to understand that you got to be around people who desire a change, right? You got to be around that environment. So guys, remember, <clears throat> when it comes to the rule of five of anything in life, especially leadership, you got to know your five things that you're doing every single day, right? So the first swing, you got to lead yourself if you want to be a better leader, right? Swing number two, you got to add value to people, right? Hit that tree every day, right? It's number three, boom, you got to study leadership every day, right? Step number four, boom, you got to practice leadership. And step number five, boom, you got to intentionally want to grow. It's the coolest canopreneur in the world, and we'll see y'all at the beaches and the banks. Because remember, the bottom's getting way too crowded, and the top got enough room for us all. See you there.